What up, though, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. What's going on? Hey, Patricia. Hey, Danny. Hey, I'm Natty. Hey, Brittany. What's going on? What's going on? Listen, I ain't gonna keep y'all long. We're gonna get straight to the point, honey. We're gonna get straight to the point. We're here. To recap summer house listen if y'all are not watching summer house what's going on simply elegant one if you guys are not watching summer house i think you should watch it it's a pretty refreshing show especially considering that you know what we what we deal with with the housewives and in the ensemble cast i feel like this is a little light at least for now at least for now <laughs> at least for now so we're gonna get into everything but of course you guys please hit that like button as you guys come on in and also to make sure that you subscribe if you're not subscribed and hit that notification bell and i just want to verify can you guys hear me with no issues let me know if y'all can hear me with no issues and i'm not gonna hold y'all even i'm not gonna hold y'all all evening but i do have some things i want to say about that first episode and I think this first episode, if I'm not mistaken, was like 90 minutes. If if I'm not mistaken. Um, let me see. Okay, thank you, Brittany. I appreciate it. All right, y'all can hear me just good. Let's get into it, child. Let's get into it. All right, so you guys know that we left off last summer, child. They didn't get no reunion. They didn't get nothing. But well, here we are for the second season. I'm so glad that they got a, a chance to do another season. But let's get into it, y'all. All right. So this 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 episode pretty much opens up um, with them kind of letting us know the changes from last season to this season. So we find out that Jordan and Jasmine haven't really talked all summer long. Um, and I have some more that I want to say about them not talking all summer long. But she says that she's been tight and friends with all of the other people okay so then jasmine also lets us know that you know nick is still with his girlfriend and amir is still with his girlfriend as a matter of fact they have done like some double date okay now everyone is headed to the vineyard and got on a you know they planes and stuff like that they didn't got from their respective places such as dc 
uh, you know, LA, all that. And now they're headed to the vineyard, to Martha's Vineyard. And child, I put in my nose, Breed and came back with that dog, honey. Breed and came back with that dog on dog, okay? Breed is back with that dog. But I mean, it is her emotional support dog. But just a question, this ain't no shade to nobody. But um, how long is your emotional support dog supposed to last? It's supposed to last like forever. You don't get it just a period of time. Listen, I'm just asking because I don't know. Do you only get a emotional support animal for a specific time that you need it for depression reasons or you get to keep that dog forever? I don't know. I ain't never had no emotional support animal. What's up, Harold? What's up, my brother? What's going on? I ain't had no emotional support animal, but I just want to know. Anyway, so um, ja Jasmine all of a sudden loved Milo. Hey Milo, come here, Milo. Come here, Milo. I'm like, girl, last season you couldn't you couldn't stand Milo. Okay. Milo was minding Milo business. And I remember when I first thought that they was calling that dog Marlo. <laughs> but anyway, let's keep going. So Bria says that her and Jasmine are in, in a good place. They kind of hung out, hung out. Off of camera, you know, during during their off season or whatever, they were able to kind of kick it, hang out, and get to a place to where they can coexist and be good with each other. So Jordan tells Summer that she doesn't know if um, she's ready to really see Jasmine, right? Because of all the things that they had going on last season. Now, we got to be for real. We got to be honest about it. Jasmine was doing a lot last season. And when I say she was doing a lot, I mean, she was doing her job. She had clocked in. You know, she was being messy. She was being, you know, all of the things. But if y'all can remember correctly, she tried to make, you know, she she was trying to put Jordan with somebody. Remember, she kept asking. She was like, um, was, hey, Lady B. She was like, is there anybody in the house that wants to, you know, that wants to be together? Is there any single people? You know, and I felt like, you don't got to force this. You know what I'm saying? You do not have to have to force this. Um, eloquent resume. What's going on? What's going on? Um, that that you know she didn't have to do that last season, but that that's pretty much what she was doing last season. So Jordan says that they haven't talked. She she doesn't feel like Jasmine was very authentic. She feels like Jasmine was kind of getting along just to get along. And I'm gonna get a little bit further into that because. Because I do feel, if I'm honest, I feel like Jordan is is doing a little much. But but we'll get there. We'll get there. So Salas, of course, you guys do know that he did go away. He he got deployed, and um, Sal uh, Jasmine says that in her confession that her and Salas had a rough year last year. Now, what I do know was rough is every scene that y'all was in and y'all were getting ready to go to bed, y'all was bumping the sheets and bumping the bed. And we ain't want to hear that. We ain't want to see that. We ain't want to do none of that. I'm actually glad that Salas is not here because we did not want to hear this. Okay. okay. I am so glad that Salas is not, Salas Cooper is not here. And I am so glad about that particular piece of it. But I also understand um, Jasmine because, of course, you guys do know that she was pregnant. And then him leaving, I can only imagine, like, the stress that she probably was going through. So I totally understand that particular piece of it um, and would understand if she did miss him. So Silas has gone away. He is deployed for about 10 months. Now, Summer had, is bringing a friend uh, who lives in New York. And y'all, what's the friend name? Noelle. Noelle. Baby. I like Noelle. I like her accent. She kind of like, she kind of like, like proper ghetto. You know what I'm saying? Like proper ghetto. You know, proper and ghetto at the same time, just a little bit. And I say that just by the way she talked. Please, I know how people feel about the word ghetto. I ain't trying to call her like ghetto you know, like that. But she has like a, a specific tone to her, to her, and a little twang to her voice. Now she does later on say that she's actually from Atlanta, which kind of I mean from Georgia, not Atlanta, but she's from Georgia, so it kind of makes sense. Kind of makes sense. She got the little twang, but that sweet. We, uh, like it's kind of hard to explain, but that's how Atlanta people talk, or people from Georgia. I keep saying Atlanta, but that's how people from Georgia talk. 
kind of with a little properness to their voice, but a little hood, a little ghetto, you know, behind. <laughs> What's going on? It's Tish. What's up? Um, Danny, that's you. I'm just saying, you know, just a little, just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I, I like that. Oh, she's a pageant girl. Thank you for telling me that, Harold, because I ain't know that. Miss Georgia, 10 USA, LOL. That's right up my alley. Okay. I didn't know she was a pageant girl. Hey, Sharice, what's going on, love? Okay. So that, that makes sense. That makes sense. She's a pageant girl. Okay. 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 Thank you for that bit of, that bit of information. Did I see that she was a pageant girl? Did they say that in this episode? I don't remember if they said that in this episode. They probably did. You know, and if they, they did, and shame on them because Yasha introduced her the right way. But I might have missed that particular piece of it. All right. So. Okay, I moved it too far ahead in my notes. Um. Okay, so here comes Shanice, child. Here comes Shanice, child, and 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 child Shanice. <laughs> yeah, I know Shanice. Shanice would 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 jump in the hot tub naked, child, topless and stuff like that, child. Remember last season she came out the bathroom, out of mirror bathroom when the mirror then was in the room. She come out of the bathroom with her top off, okay, and that's the type of stuff. Like you can't be that comfortable, girl, because. Not in, in 2024. You just cannot do that. Um, that's what you saying. I sound like a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Uh-huh. You got a little southern twang, you're a little proper. Okay. Uh uh, a little proper. Okay. So uh I'm about to, oh, you hadn't watched the episode. Hey, Bama girl. You hadn't watched the episode. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um also, I always have, I know y'all probably will go to Peacock, but if you don't have Peacock and you want to watch any type of reality show, just go for Love and Hip Hop and all those kind of places. Remember, I put a little bug in y'all ear about a website specifically so you can go back and watch. No commercials, no none of that stuff, because uh, I know Peacock is worth $10 with no commercials and stuff, and I don't know if everybody got Peacock. So if you need that website, just let me know, and I will let y'all know, and you can find all your reality shows on there. All of them, all of them. Love and Marriage DC, uh, 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 Potomac, um, all the shows, all the shows on there. Okay, getting back into this. So, um, if y'all remember, also, too, Shanice was the one who had to leave last season every weekend because she had to go to work. Now, um, Summer says that Alex is weird. Now, Mind you, this was before Alex was confronted at the table. But I put this in my notes because I find this to be very accurate, right? When Summer said, when Alex comes in the house, Summer says that he's weird. They kind of have this awkward exchange. But Summer explains in her confessionals that, you know, anytime that that uh, Alex comes to New York, they hang out, or anytime that she's in L.A., they hang out. And to me, eh, I knew something more had to have happened because she get to acting all weird. And this is why I got to call on her end because Summer, like, girl, girl, the way you describe this, you would have thought that y'all were good. And then when he came in the house, she was acting all weird. I was like, girl, I, don't, I, I really don't know what this is about. This just gives me weird. And y'all want to know the thoughts that went through my mind immediately when I saw that? I said, she give me, you know, when you when you was young and you probably had sex with somebody a couple of times. And then when y'all start seeing each other in public or when y'all start seeing each other face to face and stuff like that, it, it became weird because you weren't hanging out with just the two of y'all. It became something that kind of was a public feeling. Have y'all ever felt like that before? Well, we grown up in this chat. I didn't felt like that before, but that's the vibe that I got from them immediately was like, and I hate to put that on them, but then we later find out that that's what it was. But immediately when I saw that, I was like, this is giving me like, you know, back when you was like in your, in your prime years, like your young years, like your twenties and stuff like that. And you would be out. 
I mean, that's the vibe that I got from them. Like, oh, dang, like now we got to publicly pretend like something is not there is basically what I got from it. Thank you, Danny. Because, because you know, I done, we are grown and I done done that before. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's what I got from them. Um, And so I actually put in my notes that I was a little confused because I felt like something more had went down that they didn't talk about. So, of course, throughout the season, I'm sure they're going to talk about it. Now, um, Shanice, Shanice, Nick, Preston, uh, Jordan, they went to um to the to Jamaica child and Bria. They went to Jamaica child. I just noticed. I don't think I got Bria on her. Y'all do. There's Bria back there. Um, Shanice. I mean, they all go on this trip, child, but they didn't invite Jasmine. They didn't invite Jasmine, and Jasmine feels some type of way, so we'll get further into that as well. So Summer um, takes Amir them to his room. They actually see that they are sleeping in bunks, and Amir says that, you know, for the fellas, that's cool, you know, because, you know, they get to catch up. They only get to see each other one time a year. They get to catch up, uh, you know, and have a good time. But when the girlfriends come, that ain't gonna be what the girlfriend's trying to sleep in. The girlfriend's ain't gonna be able to sleep in a bunk with you, child. I'm gonna see how they finna make that work. But child, sleeping in a bunk, mm. yeah, them women's is not finna have it. Them women's, them women's in my wonder voice, them women's they're not finna have it. <laughs> so Noelle shows up. She shows up all proper and country. I literally put that in my notes because she has an accent that I love. Uh, Shanice asked um, ask uh the ladies about Amir's girlfriend and they say that she's pretty standoffish. Now what I'm a little bit confused about is because then Shanice goes on to say that don't nobody want your man. Did you forget what Jordan did last season? I'm just saying if we're gonna call it out, we're gonna keep calling it out. Jordan was was a little extra with Amir, a little touchy feely. And now at this particular point, they're in the friend zone, but we can't, we cannot be that obtuse to act like mm, there was something, something. You could tell Jordan liked the mirror now. We're not going to try to, we're going to be adults about this, okay? We're going to be adults about it and we're going to call it out as we see it, okay? Um, But anyway, they, Jordan then explains that, that they're now in a friend zone period like they're friends now child we'll get further into it so preston um preston comes and uh, they are all going to shop for the crabs and stuff like that and so preston reveals that he has had problems he also reveals that his father had just passed away and while they are planning the services and stuff like that they kept preston and his sister out of the loop and Preston is actually filming the show at the same time that his dad is supposed to be, I mean, his dad's funeral and other stuff. He's actually filming the show in the midst of that. So he explains that he just needs his friends to be by his side. Like, um, you know, because he's going through a lot. He's going through a lot with his family. He's going through a lot. They're not telling him anything. And it it almost sounds like Preston didn't find out his dad's, when his dad's service was going to be. He had probably already signed his contract. And all kind of other stuff that's going on because they they don't they don't film like the housewives does for four three to four or five months they only get the film for like two weeks so it's a little bit different for them so i can definitely understand that and um clearly of course if you're having issues with your family you probably ain't want to be in the mix either but I, I i get it he needs his friends all right um so I put in my notes that Noel is funny. I I kind of like Noel already. So Bria is seasoning this 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 crab boy down. Okay, Bria them opened up all of the. First of all, she done bought all the um the Obey seasonings from the store, whatever store that they went to. She bought all them people's Obey seasonings, and then she dumped all that, that Obey seasoning around there in that pot with them crabs and stuff in it. But Amir said he don't trust they cooking. So Amir said he gonna order some pizza, child. I was like, not you about to order some pizza in the group eating the crabs and stuff. Y'all just gonna have some good seasoned crab. Amir, now, no shade, my brother. But 
you may not be used to a lot of seasonings. Yeah, you may not be used to a lot of seasonings, my brother. It's okay, though. It's okay. It's okay to season your food. Okay? I'm all right. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so here we go with Shanice outside half dressed again. Child, Shanice, in my opinion, I know what you used to do, girl, but you got to have some cooth about yourself. Okay? So have some cooth about yourself, girl. Uh, you just want to be half naked everywhere you go. It, I mean, my lord. Okay, so anyway, they head outside to eat, child. And as they head outside to eat, uh, well, you know, Harold, that Amir has not tapped into his black side. I mean, this this came from his own mouth. Amir said he had not tapped into his black side. He, you know, is still used to how his mom does stuff. And, you know, he's, he, he's, um, so, you know, the mom, you know, I don't think they used to that type of seasoning. You know what I'm saying? Because he even felt some type of way. Remember last season they was cooking some, and I think he was cooking like the macaroni and cheese or something like that. And one of them, I think it was Bria, came back behind him and put some salt in the food. Because remember, he ain't put... He ain't put, uh, 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 you know, he ain't put, you know, child. I don't, I, yeah, I think he's seasoned like them people. Then he dating a white girl. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I think that's the problem right there. <laughs> seasoned that food bar. And you're going to get some pizza because you think she didn't put too much seasoning in there. You got to season that water now. Okay. So they move outside, child. And this is where things start to get a little messy, honey. So they call Alex out about him not inviting everyone to the event. And when he gets called out, he gets really called out originally by Jordan, right? So Jordan asks um, Alex, you know, you've had these events. So Alex has this like group that he sings with, and they have like a community. Where, you know, everything is like updated within that community. The website sends out like invites when they have things, when they have things going on that the website, you know, sends out the invitations, right? But apparently, um, he only invited like Bria personally, but everybody else would have gotten an email or something of that sort, right? And so um, uh, Alex is saying like, you know, y'all should sign up for the community or whatever. So, um, Alex then, well, child, Summer tries to call Alex out about Alex knowing that she was visiting Jordan M at the time in New York, okay? Because this, this is where, you know, his, his show was. It was in New York, okay? And my thing with this is we're not about to start doing what they do on the other ensemble cast where... Um, y'all try to make it seem like Nick doesn't appreciate his friends. I mean, not Nick, but Alex doesn't appreciate his friends or like his friends or anything of that sort. Like, I don't really don't think it was no shade um, that Alex didn't invite the rest of them personally. Like, Summer, why do you... My thing is, Summer is actually one of those women that I couldn't date. I couldn't date. If you was a man, you was doing the same thing, I couldn't date you. I couldn't date you. And we're going to get a little bit further into why. But girl. Okay. So she tries to call Alex out on his bluff. And she was like, I call bull because you did know I was in New York and you could have invited me. So basically she just wanted a personal invite. Y'all. Let me tell y'all how messy this gets. So she like, I call bull Swiss. You didn't invite her when she was talking about Jordan. You know, Jordan lives in New York. You didn't invite me or she didn't say me but she was like you didn't invite the person that you've been inside of baby i i gasped a little bit i said say what now <laughs> i said see this is why i felt the way that i did at the beginning of the e episode when he first came in the house and she was acting the way that she was acting it's because y'all done had sex and she don't know how to take the d being in a friend group Somebody she didn't got the D from, honey. You know, she look matized in my opinion. This is my opinion. She look matized. But 
I really, truly, honestly knew at first that by the way that they were acting was like, oh, girl, yeah, you done had the ping. You know, you done had a little bit of that ping. Okay. Anyway, what she said, yeah, you didn't invite. Uh, she basically saying you didn't invite me and you've been all up inside me is basically what she was saying. Okay. Anyway, so Alex says, now, if we're going to do that, if we're going to start calling this out, you know, then let's call it out all the way across the board. And I don't really think this, that's the road you want to go down. I was with Alex on that. Because, girl, why do you have to wait till we get to the table and then you tell everybody that I've been inside of you or that we've been having sex? That ain't everybody's business in their friend group. That's kind of, that ain't no kind of messy. That's very messy. I'm just saying. Baby, I came up in a day where you ain't had to go out here and advertise who you've been sleeping with. Or you don't got to talk about who you've been sleeping with. I mean, this just, I, nowadays, folks just so free with it. Yeah, I slept with her last week. What? Like, <laughs> y'all don't keep, keep stuff to yourself no more? My Lord. Jesus. Anyway. So. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then they get to talking about what Bria says that Jordan and them have been together. Jordan and Summer have been together and they haven't invited Bria. Child, some, 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 somewhere where they, we need to bring shame, bring back shame. I'm just saying, child, I ain't never, I ain't never just been out and been like, girl, y'all, I'm, you know, I slept with him last week, child. It was so good. Like, I was going to have those conversations. Like, now I have a best friend that probably we would talk about those things, but that's it. That's the, it's a best friend, and I know it's not going past my best friend. You know what I'm saying? But all that other stuff, no, girl, you ain't got to talk about it. Didn't Shanice like Alex last season? I know uh, she could have busted when uh, she heard, she, child, you know, I can't really remember. I think so, though, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. Um, Right, me and my uh, BS, not in. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, I wouldn't tell the world that. Like, that's crazy. And, you know, you filming the show. She's like, girl, you are brave. Now, again, we got to remember what she used to do. You know, you know, that Playboy mess. We remember that. But basically... You ain't fit to get on TV and embarrass me like that. It just ain't finna happen. Anyway, so they're having this conversation again. Alex calls on 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 this as well. So Bria starts to you know get get a little activated or whatever. So Preston is like, "What is going on? Like, what is what is this? Like, what is going on?" And um. Preston, you know, yells a little bit. And so Bria starts to say, well, if you want me to go inside, I'll go inside. And so Preston gets aggravated with Bria because he didn't even do that because of Bria. He just did. I think he just did that in general altogether, just based off of the fact that it seemed like the table shifted really, really quick. I mean, we know the power of editing, but it looked like the table shifted quick. So um now Bria and Preston they finally fixed their issues you know they're really good friends they talk every day so I don't think that it was anything that big of a deal where they couldn't figure out their issue immediately and they did just that now Summer wants to go back to the conversation with with Alex about not being invited and she just tries to call out all of these things. And again, he, he calls it back out. And I've literally put in my notes, girl, you're, you're pressed over this thing. I mean, I, I, we just got to call a thing a thing. Anyway, child, so they, Jasmine gets into this conversation about not being invited to places and saying that there wouldn't be this friend group if it really wasn't for her and she feels left out and all of that, right? So, um, they get ready to go on the boat, child. The next day, they get ready to go on the boat. Of course, you know, they do their little nightly activities. They have conversations. They were supposed to be extending the conversation because it got cold outside, but um, 
pro- production must have cut that because they ain't really had no more conversations after that. However, we're gonna get into this next conversation. So Jasmine and Jordan start to have a conversation, right? And they're having a conversation about the relationship and the friendship. And Jordan pretty much tells Jasmine that she feels like she couldn't trust her or she felt like she wasn't the Jasmine that she met. And this is what I got to say to Jordan. And this kind of wraps up the episode. But this is what I have to say to Jordan. Jordan, you got to realize that when your friends get married, Jasmine and Silas have only been married for a year. I mean, they have a baby now. Um, I think Jasmine was also trying to keep the fact that she is pregnant from these people. So I don't know if she's going to reveal it on the show eventually. But back when they were filming the show, which was, I guess, the early part of last summer or the ending of last summer when they were actually filming the show, of course, she wasn't. um, I don't think she had told them that she was pregnant because Bria goes on to say that she, she asked Jasmine if she was pregnant and she told her no. So. Yeah, child. But get into this. My thing is when your friends get married or when your friends get in relationships, things change. Things change. And I don't I don't think they change for like a situation where sometimes we like it. Sometimes as friends, we become very territorial of our friend. And then when our friend finds someone or gets with someone, sometimes we People don't know how to handle that, right? Sometimes people don't know how to handle that. And just in my opinion, I feel like Jordan just doesn't know how how to handle the fact that Jasmine is now married. So that lifestyle that Jasmine used to live before, that playboy lifestyle and all that, she can't do that now. She has a husband that she has to respect. And vice versa. He's, he's, He's expecting her to respect him. And she's respecting, uh, she wants him to respect her. So I feel like in this, we got to be adults about the situation. And again, when you get with people, things do change. And again, sometimes we don't like the change. But I think in this particular situation, I do think Jordan should cut Jazz, Jasmine some slack. I really do. Because again, she's trying to figure out the, the wife thing. I think she's also trying to balance the friendships. And I'm not even a Jasmine fan, but I feel like that they need to, she needs to learn how to balance. And she does, she hasn't figured that out yet. And I think that Jordan needs to give her a little, you know, just a little bit of grace in that area. Just my opinion. I don't know what y'all feel about it, but just my opinion. I feel like she just needs to give her grace because, again, the natural reaction to someone being in a relationship is that things change. You know what I mean? Um, and so I just feel like being a little bit more respectful in that will help. So, um. We find out that Summer, uh, well, Summer and and um, and Alex have a conversation. And Alex asked this conversation. In the conversation, I feel like this. I feel like um, Summer is doing a lot. She feels like she shouldn't keep it a secret that they've screwed around or that they've done what they've done. And I'm, I'm thinking in my mind, um... Ma'am, like, what happened to keeping stuff like quiet? Like, what? Who goes out here advertising who they done messed with? Especially if you know that this man is not interested in a relationship. I think it's disrespectful, in my opinion. I do. I feel like if we have a conversation and you know good and well that I'm telling you that I don't want a relationship, but we're doing what we're doing on the side, that ain't everybody's business for you to be going and cool by eye and we're sending pictures to. And all kind of other stuff. So you're taking pictures without my knowledge, and then you send it, or you send it to your friends, and then they, then other people find out that we're doing whatever we're doing. Like, then I have to explain what our relationship looks like or what it should. Like, girl, no, that that to me is like real, like like uh uh junior high schoolish to me. Like, you going to have conversations with your friend about who you met, and like that is so. Food time is to me like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just feel like as adults, we should get to some point to where, um, like, we ain't just got to be out talking about that type of stuff. Like, and I feel like if the boundaries and the expectations are set in the beginning, 
and you decide to take those expectations and run with those expectations, and it's not the expectations I gave you in the beginning, that's on you. You can't blame that on me. You cannot blame that on me. It, again, especially if I set the expectations and I've set the boundaries and you decide not to respect either of those, then that's, the, again, that's on you and not on me. And don't don't be trying to wait till we get in front of a group and try to embarrass me with it. Like, no, that doesn't work. And I don't understand. I, I hate to say this, but if the roles were reversed. It would be a different a different type of conversation. And y'all know exactly what I mean. We will be calling Alex all kind of punks and all kind of stuff for being out announcing who he's sleeping with, knowing that a relationship is not coming out. We, we, we would have the opposite reaction if it was the opposite way around. I just feel like I had the same energy for summer because you shouldn't be out here doing all that. So I'm, I'm unfortunately in this, in this one, I'm with Alex maybe until we know more. I'm with Alex on that. I, I, I'm just with Alex on that. Like, we, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. You know what I mean? And that, again, you know, it's just first episode. So we'll see what else comes out from it. But I, I, don't, I don't really like that. I don't really like us talking about that. Like, I don't. I don't. So, yeah, y'all, that was pretty much the first episode getting reintroduced to, to everyone all over again. I still stand on the fact that I wish that Mariah would have gotten to come back and be vindicated in season two. I really do. I feel like Mariah deserved that. I do. Because it was Amir who put the clothes or put the towels in with Milo's clothes. It was Amir who did it. And if y'all don't remember, that's what actually started the altercation between Mariah and um Mariah and B Bria. So I man, I would have loved for her to come back. Um, hopefully, also Summer House gets a reunion this season. You know, they only got eight episodes last season, so we'll see if they get more episodes. But um, hopefully this season they get a reunion. I I, I think they deserve a reunion. I, I really do. I think they deserve a reunion. Um, because they do have a lot of story, they have a lot of story. Um, and they have a lot of things that they can talk about. If the trader people can get a reunion, why some house can't get a reunion? If all the other summer houses can get reunions and below decks and all them places, they get reunions. Y'all better give a uh, uh summer house Martha Vineyard a reunion, winter house and fall house and spring house, all them other ones, they get they get a, a reunion. So be fair, bravo. Okay, be fair. Um, I think I looked this up. I think Truly Original is also no, they can't be their production company. So we moving forward with story, and we know Truly Original don't like to move forward with story. Um, oh, it is Truly Original. Okay, okay. So Truly Original does produce Summer House Martha's Vineyard, which is a very interesting, child, because you know they do not like to move on with storylines, child. They just don't. Oh, Lord. But anyway, so this has been, I'm super excited about it. This, I think this season is going to be very good. Again, I don't know how many episodes that we're going to get, but I am going to be bringing attention to the show just by talking about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy Summer House. I hope you enjoyed this review as well. For um, for summer house. Um, like I said, I didn't want to keep y'all too long. I just want to kind of hit it in, hit it and quit it, honey, <laughs> and, and and keep it on the hush. Okay, take notes, summer. Take notes, summer. Okay, you do too much talking, summer. Summer, come here, summer. Summer, you doing too much talking? Be quiet. You don't got to talk about who you bumping and grinding with. That's all I'm saying. I don't understand why you bring it back to the group that y'all bumping and grinding and doing what grown people do when they ain't. I'm just saying, grown people always do that. Okay? I'm just saying. Be quiet. Close your mouth. Okay? 
Um, <laughs> not I cheat in the easy. <laughs> I had to hit it and quit it, honey. Absolutely, you guys, please check out Summer House. It was good. It's good. It's a good show. It's 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 lighter than Potomac and all of those other shows. It's 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 lighter. It's lighter. And like I said, at least this first episode was was much lighter. Which is why I was surprised that Truly Original produces this. Because, child, if they can move along with story on Summer House, y'all can move along with story on Housewives of Atlanta and Potomac. Okay? But anyway, child. I hope you guys enjoyed this yet again. Okay? Um, to my Patreon community and uh, my... Um, The Patreon community and members only community. We will be doing our members only and Patreon only live this week. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and yeah. But y'all have to go get ready to finish cooking this food. I'm just making me some fried rice. Okay, that's it. I'm going to go fry my rice right now, child. You know what I'm saying? Oh, thanks to me, RHOP will be moving next season. What you mean moving? You mean like the story moving along? Child. I don't know. I I just child. Anywho. All right, y'all. I will catch you guys in the next video. Um, y'all already know in Patreon, y'all can always have conversations, open conversations in the exclusive tab. All right. So remember that. Shout out to the new Patreon members. Shout out to y'all. I do appreciate y'all for subscribing. Y'all go ahead and join Patreon. I think it's less than four dollars to join, y'all. It's less than four dollars to join a month, um, and less than fifty dollars if you'd like to do it for the whole year. So y'all head over to the Patreon link. But also too, this is free. I need y'all to follow the TCDD Productions YouTube page, and the link is in the chat. Okay. All right. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a great rest of y'all day. Bye now. That you are working on something right now. And I feel success coming up behind it, but I also feel lots of opposition. There's some people that's in your circle that's telling you that they're your friends and they're talking against your future. Can we do <laughs> Y'all better get that rhyme word from uh so Mother Kelly. Mother Kelly Price, okay? Mother Kelly Price just gave y'all a word. I'm gonna let y'all hear that again, because see, some of y'all missed that. It went right over your head, huh? Let's, let, let, let me let her prophesy to y'all one more time. That you are working on something right now, and I feel success coming up behind it, but I also feel lots of opposition. There's some people that's in your circle that's telling you that they're your friends and they're talking against your future. Can we do <laughs> Kelly could have kept that lie. All that man wanted was a picture and she done done all that to to prevent oh from taking a picture side note side note speaking of kelly price i don't know if y'all know this but somebody on youtube is uploading old episodes of r&b divas atlanta and r&b divas la and when i tell y'all i have been getting my whole nasty life over there laughing at kelly and a little more crazy self and Selena Johnson over there on Atlanta and Kiki baby. Kiki, and side though, Kiki Wide, the way Kiki Wide mama was acting in her show, she acted that same way uh, uh, over there on RB Divas. Y'all check it out, okay? Check it out, check it out. Just type it in and I'm pretty sure you'll find it. All right. Anyway, bye y'all.